So today I wanted to talk about Lou. I was thinking of scripting this, but it wouldn't really portray what I'm feeling, how I'm feeling, and the point I'm trying to get across. Now, like any of you, we play games like these for loot. You want the best loot, you want the best roles, you want the best looking gear, so you want to look the best, be the most powerful, and basically face roll everything in front of you. Well, there's always that next challenge ahead of you, right? Whether it's GM2, GM3, GM4, or even GM5 eventually, that's going to come along and basically stop you in your tracks, and then you're going to have to gear up all over again and continue. Now, unlike games like Destiny, which have a fixed roll system, where if you get a Jotun, if you get a Wave Splitter, if you get the 1000 Voices, those items are fixed roll. Yes, they're difficult to get. Yes, the RNG in that game sucks. But once you've got the item, the roll is fixed and you have that item forever. And the best thing about it is, once you've got the item, you can always infuse it to whatever power level you need or see fit. You don't need to go and get it again. So in that regard, the RNG and the low drop rates actually make sense because it is a one-time item. In the world of Anthem, this is as far from the truth as humanly possible. When you get legendaries, they are not one-time items. You can get really, really crappy rolls on them, like I'm talking completely and utterly useless. And because of this, that legendary you've got is a complete waste of time. Yes, it will increase your gear score. Yes, it will increase your overall power. But honestly, the gear score item with the 6-1 to one power that's got 200 damage or whatever it is that you've got, the gear that gives you plus 100% speed that will make your build work, that is going to be a lot more beneficial to you than that 75 legendary and the feeling of actually being able to progress goes down the drain. So there's a real fundamental problem here in how Bioware is looking to handle loot. I do believe that certain loot should be rare. I do believe certain types of loot should be sought after. But with the number of variables in this game, it just makes that search and makes that grind a hell of a lot more painful when you're getting one or two legendaries. Yesterday I finally got a legendary, albeit I've been playing maybe 4 or 5 hours a week at present because I've just been very busy, but, you know, I got a legendary, I was really excited, got to the end screen, and it's a universal component I don't even care about. As a Colossus, I don't want these because I need the HP when it comes to GM 2 and 3. I can't lose 15,000 armor, I can't lose 10,000 shield, I just can't afford to do that in the higher difficulty settings based on the way I play, I just cannot do that. But even then, the inscriptions on the Universal Masterwork, though they're supposed to be higher rated for DPS, were actually quite poor. So that component instantly became garbage. So it was instantly broken. Yes, I know, it's hard, it's painful to break a legendary when so little drop. Now I appreciate some of you will say, you know, you go out and you get two legendaries a day, three. That's not enough, not in a game like this. Again, I refer back to Destiny, where yes, it can take you a week to get an exotic in Destiny, but when you get it, you have that item. You don't need to get it again. In the world of Anthem, your item is level 75. Once they increase the cap and it goes to level 90, you need to grind that legendary again and hope for that god roll again. And yes, we are all in search for that grind, for that loot hunger, but to get that role that you're looking for consistently, it starts to become a chore. We want something that is going to be there to last, or for it to be freefall so we can actually have plenty of it. At the moment, Anthem is restricting you in the way you get legendaries, and in all honesty, there is absolutely no reason. Sure, there are people out there who are going to get to max score and say, woohoo, I've done it. But those aren't the players that are going to stay with the game anyway. Let's be realistic here. Those people who just want to get to the max score and move on, those won't be the people staying and playing the game. Because if you restrict them from getting to the max level, well, guess what? They've already gone to other games anyway. So there's no real difference. The only people you're punishing right now is the core players that are actually still playing the game. And though some still persist that the drop rates are fine and it's working as intended and a two legendary drops a day or one legendary drops a day is enough, with the way the inscriptions work, I completely and utterly 100% disagree with this. It's wrong. It's, I'm sorry, but 
There's no justification for a game that has no PvP, that wants to make you more powerful, that wants to give you that power fantasy, yet it will not give you the loot to do it. Over the past 3-4 days I've been doing my dailies, I've been doing free play in GM2, I've been getting the odd item here and there, nothing of use, so it's gone down the drain. I don't feel rewarded for the time I'm putting in. Now everyone is talking about the division, right? That is no better. But the difference there is that loot keeps on raining. However, I'm now 450 power there and at endgame status, I'm ready for world tier 5. But, you know, when I go and actually get items in the open world, they're dropping at 420 and 430 and these are no good for me. At this present time, those items are just garbage. I haven't seen a place, and I don't know if there is, so if there is, holy sorry, but at present, unlike in Division 2, where you could actually increase your gear score with Division Tech, I can't see that in Division 2. And if there is, please correct me in the comment section below, because I'd like to know, because there are a few weapons that I've got that are like 415, 420 that I would like to upgrade, but as of right now, I don't have the option. They have the recalibration, so you can change a perk. They have the crafting, which allows you to create a weapon, but nothing to actually let me do what I want to do and gain the gear score. So the Division 2, in my opinion, is in the same boat as Anthem, just that they're giving you a lot more loot to break. And the loot that I'm getting from the Division 2 right now is basically the equivalent of purple gear. I'm not getting anything useful. So the only way I can actually get items that are of actual value to me is when I level up, I rank up, and I get a cash. And in that cash, it's a guaranteed increase to my power level. Even if it's just a one increase, it's still a guaranteed increase, and I can use that and boost my progression. Thankfully, it doesn't take long to get these caches, but again, it is a problem. So the Division 2 still has its fair share of problems, and though it does it a hell of a lot better than Anthem does, it's not perfect. Now going back to the Destiny model, where the weapons have fixed roles, that is a far better model than what the Division and Anthem is doing. Mainly because, though it takes an awfully long time to get that said exotic that you're after, and the random drops for that exotic are a pain, once you have it, you have it, and that's the end of it. Fast forward to Anthem, if I was to go out and I'm still hunting for my Truth of Tarsis, I get the weapon and it's got say 50% extra damage. It's garbage. I know you can't roll that low, but you get the point I'm trying to make. Yes, it will still be a nice weapon, it will still do good damage, but compared to the potential of 500% extra damage, 50% or 100% is nothing. It's not the role you're after. Now I know what you're saying. Well, then you can go and get the item. You can go and grind for the item and keep on going. Well, that's not how it works. Because if you're giving me bad drop rates on legendaries and you're not giving them in plentiful like you should be, and you're not giving me any form of guaranteed way, which I'm going to get to in a second, in getting said legendaries, then we have a problem because you're adding a variable on top of another four variables on top of a variable. So you're probably wondering why I mean by these variables, right? Well, let's, let's, let's break it down. You've got the variable of the legendary dropping. Then you've got another variable of the legendary dropping for the one you actually want. So far, we're on the same playing field as, say, Destiny. Then we have four variables in deciding whether the four inscriptions we get are going to be the ones we want or up to par with what we need. And that is where Bioware is failing. Not only is it giving us a shoddy drop rate with legendaries, not only is there another variable, which has to be a variable because that's how RNG works, so there's no problem there with what actually drops, but then you have the four inscriptions. When it comes to legendary stuff, they either make it fixed or they have to increase the drop rate. Now, there are a few other things like guaranteed drop rates that they could do, right? They could take a page out of Destiny's book with its milestone system. They could have it where, you know, when you do a certain amount of contracts, you'll get a guaranteed legendary. There was a certain amount of legendary missions, and you'll get a guaranteed legendary. There was a certain amount of strongholds, and you'll get a guaranteed legendary. They can even extend this to free play by doing a certain number of world events per week to get a guaranteed legendary. That way, players are guaranteed, no matter how bad their RNG is, to get three or four legendaries per week. And then anything else they get after that, 
is an added bonus. Considering free play is where most people spend their time because it's the most enjoyable, I think a boost to legendary drop rates there should also be in place. Currently, free play is the best place to get legendaries, at least for me. I don't get them anywhere else but free play. But a boost is needed for the drop rate. And if we don't get this, more and more people are going to leave Anthem and they won't be coming back. Like I said, the Division has a good model, but it's not perfect. It's pretty much mirroring what Anthem is doing, but just in a way where it's masking it. So it's not perfect. Another way they can do this to actually give us a reason to actually use our crafting materials is for when we create masterwork items, give it a chance to craft the legendary. Even if it is like a 5% chance, it's better than nothing. Right now we are collecting tons and tons of materials for no reason. There's absolutely no purpose to crafting. Masterworks in general are dropping quite well. When I do a normal run for an hour and a half, two hours, I walk away with about 15, 20 masterworks. So in all fairness, it's dropping. And when I go into strongholds, I walk away with four or five masterworks. Contracts, I walk away with four or five masterworks. So overall, masterworks are in a good place. They're dropping frequently enough for it to be okay. However, that also means I'm breaking a lot more of these masterworks because they are pointless to me right now. They are useless. What does that mean? Well, what it means is I have nothing to do with these masterwork embers. You have a weekly and monthly challenge that gives you 25, 50 or 100 masterwork embers. Who gives a shit? Because I don't. That is why I don't do them. Because crafting in this game is pointless. But hey, if I had a 5% chance of actually getting a legendary from a masterwork craft, you betcha I would be going to craft just for that 5% chance. Bring it in and make crafting at least somewhat useful because right now it's pointless. Finally, they really need to introduce some bad luck protection. There are people who say they've not got a legendary over 100 hours. I'm sorry, you're chatting bullshit, I don't believe you. But I do get the sentiment that you don't get enough and you go through extreme droughts where you don't get anything. Well, I don't know, maybe make it after every 15, 20, 25, 30, whatever that magic number is, masterworks they drop, you're guaranteed a legendary. So when you go through a period of not getting a legendary, then at least the system itself will force a legendary to spawn and give it to you. And don't forget, even then, these legendaries can drop for other classes, which is even worse. Considering how bad the drop rate is, Actually finally getting a masterwork and then it being for a class that you don't even have played yet is just painful. Anyway, that's what I think is wrong with a loot system and how they can fix it. Make it so there's three or four options to guarantee the drop every week, like a milestone system like Destiny does, that's completely separate from everything else. Increase the drop rates or make the inscriptions fixed. I know people won't want it fixed, they want it random. So because of that, greatly increase the drop rates by maybe like 500 percent and even then i don't think it's going to be enough enable crafting to have a chance to spawn legendaries when you're crafting masterworks and at this point i believe we will finally have a system in place where people will be happy with honestly there are a plethora of problems with anthem right now you can't even see your end screen half the time i'm crashing left right and center this is one thing they have complete control over and something they can do to immediately appease the audience. People are not going to leave if the loot is raining and the people that are leaving are leaving because they're feeling unrewarded. Well guys, you let me know in the comment section below what you think, how you're feeling, what your view of everything is. I don't know, for me at the moment, I was playing The Division 2 yesterday for almost 12 hours and I enjoyed it. But when I came back to Anthem, I had a smile on my face, a smile that the division didn't give me. The division was so tense and you know, you had to like poke your head out. And I mean, it's a cover shooter, so you have to be very careful in what you're doing. Whereas in Anthem, I don't have that. I can be the superhero I want to be. I thoroughly enjoy Anthem a lot more. Even though I'm not saying Division's a bad game, I really enjoyed it. I mean, I was playing it for 12 hours, right? But I enjoy Anthem a lot more. And that's because I like the sci-fi nature of things. I'm not the typical military shooter type. That being said though, it needs to reward my time. It needs to make me happy. Me just flying around and not progressing at all is not fun. 
People want to see progression, and this is where Bioware with Anthem is failing. Right guys, that's pretty much going to be me. I hope you found this useful, I hope this discussion gets to Bioware, it gets to the right channels, because they need to introduce something to increase the drop rates, to make those players that are still playing feel re rewarded. Because at the moment in time, they don't, and there's a few people in my Discord already who are basically just calling down their playtime, and I can see it as well, they're basically telling me that, you know, until the drop rates are better, they're not going to play because they don't feel rewarded. So Bioware, you know what you need to do. Increase the drop rates. Bring in guaranteed ways to get legendaries. Bring in bad drop rate detection. Anything. But do something. Right, thanks for listening to this video. I hope it makes sense. I hope it channels in with a lot of you. And until the next video, 